TIG welding a bike frame, you gotta extend your tungsten electrode, whoop, stick it way out so you can reach into those hard to reach spots. How are you gonna keep your shielding gas coverage? Yeah, you got a gas lens on there. Yeah, you crank up the flow. What else can you do? Tin foil. So it's a simple enough idea, but basically, if you can create a little dam or a little cove, if you can create a little space where you don't have other air from your breath or the fans on the machines or cross-draft in the room, if you don't have that swirling around the gases in your welding area, then the argon that's coming out of your torch tip will have a better shot of protecting your weld area. If you use this stuff, you can fold it and you can cup it, you can wrap it around. So for instance here, this is a really easy weld practice joints that I'm doing. Not hard to get gas coverage all around, but let's just say there was a lot of wind or I needed to extend my tungsten a whole lot and I wanted to make sure that I got nice gas coverage around here. I could just take the tin foil and I could kind of smoosh it around and now when I'm welding right up in here, I've got all this, all this foil here to keep that area more protected. It's like a baked potato for your weld. You just put this stuff on, really helps the shielding gas do its best possible job. So when do you want to do this? I would say it's most useful when, for instance, you are uh, in the rear end of a bike welding on seat stays or chain stays or some sort of bridge and you really need that tungsten stick out, you're really at a weird angle and you got to maximize shielding gas, even on a steel bike frame, that is a critical application uh, and it's a great use for tin foil. Also I would say if you're welding titanium, there's a lot of application for it. It's really important to keep that shielding gas coverage on titanium or even stainless steel but especially titanium you really need that coverage and so being able to make these flexible little dams is really useful another thing that you'll see people do is they'll just have a little plate of steel or uh, aluminum or something you know quarter inch thick eighth inch, eighth inch thick and they just use a spring clamp and they clamp it on the frame in the bottom bracket area or something that helps also uh, the hotter the piece is especially with titanium if it's like a thick piece that you have to do a lot of welding on it's going to get hotter as you're welding Welding, and it, while it's hot, it's reactive to atmosphere. And so, uh, you know, if you're welding on a, a, a ISO brake tab or a post mount brake, you know, a dropout to a tube or something, you really want to dam up that argon and keep the keep the little pool of it. Argon is heavier than atmosphere, so in an instance like this, if you create like a little pool for it, uh, as long as it's not swirled up, the argon is gonna it's gonna want to sink down to the bottom. And so, uh, you know, you can you can kind of create a little you can think of it like water you know it flows in there it's heavier than atmosphere it's going to fill from the bottom up sort of because of gravity and you can keep the argon in that spot by using that little dam so next time you find yourself really trying to maximize your shielding gas potential uh, you know give this a shot and uh, just make yourself a little dam and then get in there you know you can extend your tungsten this is a pretty normal for me with this number eight cup and I could extend it, you know, in the instance of tight seat stays or something, quite a bit more. And with the right, uh, with the right piece of tin foil, you can really get the coverage uh, quite adequate. So uh, anyway, I hope you found the video useful. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.